Okay, so let's turn to draw our second detail from here. It's quite complicated, so I don't want to open another new file from here because the dimensions are, I think, quite similar from our first detail so I will just draw our second file second sample to here directly okay. if you want to open another file and draw it so you can, you can just do it okay so first of all let's look the our detail carefully as you can see it consist of like three circles so one big in the center and then two smaller ones in left side and right side so <coughs> I want to build the center one first and then I will go to left side and then I want to build the right side which is located a little bit upper than the center one so let's build the these uh, smaller circles uh, in the cent in the central circle at the end of our uh, drawing because um, after finishing these two uh, sides it will be easier and uh, these two sides are seems quite easier to build so we will build we will draw these sides first and then we will put our attention to center of our drawing okay so here is what we will do as you can see the diameter of the bigger circle is like 50 millimeters so let's put it if we use radius it will be 25 okay. and then let's put center mark firstly and then we need to extend this center mark quite little bit now we can later we can trim it if it's extra so as you can see the distance from center of bigger circle to the left side circle is like sorry uh, 62 millimeters so we need to build these two circles so in this case we will use the circle tool and then to build it in uh, distance from the center of a bigger circle will be like 62 millimeters in this case I will use our secret tool temporary track point just put it I will choose first the center of our bigger circle done and then I will go left and I need to put distance 62 millimeters enter now I can build our uh, circles as you can see the smaller circle is like mm, 20 millimeters diameters the bigger one is the 30 millimeter so let's put it we will use radius so we need to put 10 first and then we need to build another one the radius will be 15 Done. as you can see we finished building this one so if we put the center mark here also it will be look little bit nice and then we need to decrease this line till here Done. So now what will we do is uh, we will use uh, the tool fillet, fillet to build these uh, lines as you can see curvy lines so as you can see there is like two lines the same lines with radius like 50 millimeters so I will choose the tool fillet and then from command line I will choose the radius option and then I need to put 
radius which is 50 millimeters enter now I need to choose these two outer circles so I need to press uh, spacebar to use fillet tool again like this now so um, we finished from left side so we will go to right side of our detail so let's look it carefully so as you can see the angle of uh, these uh, two center line is like 129 uh, degrees so we need to build we need to draw this line first and then as you can see distance between uh, centers of two circles is like 80 millimeters so let's build this uh, line first okay first of all I will use the line line tool from here then I will choose the center of this big circle and I will go to as you mentioned I'm still using auto mode so that's why it's not going up smoothly so I need to turn off auto mode in this case I will press uh, F8 keyboard done done is now the auto mode is off so as you can see I need to put here like 80 millimeters distance between two centers so I will press tab to put angle so here we need to put angle so here uh, as you mentioned the we are uh, we are putting opposite angle from here which is here is like 128 millimeters so we need to calculate the uh, opposite angle so if we uh, <coughs> Uh, how can I say if we uh, if we minus this uh, angle from uh, 180 degrees so it will be uh, 51, 51 degrees so let's put 51 degrees here and just press enter done so we need to stop using line to escape so as you can see the end of this line will be center of these two circles I think the circles are the sides of these circles the same with left side uh, 20 millimeters and 30 millimeters the diameter so let's put it the first one the radius will be 10 the second one will be 15 we are using the radius so that's why I put 10 and 15 so if we use diameter option we need to put 20 and 30 I think you know already so here we also we will use the fillet tool now we need to put the radius uh, 100 millimeters because it says 100 millimeters here so I choose fillet tool I will choose the radius option again now I need to put here 100 millimeters enter done so let's choose this two circles done. as you can see everything is finished very nicely so let me delete this extra line from here uh, later we will we can let's put center mark from here later we can just mm, turn this center line and we can connect this center the center marks together let's delete this one first so now the important thing we need to draw this central part of our detail so what will we do now first of all we will build these small circles inside of big circles so the center of this small circle will be uh, 10 millimeters far from 
center of big circle let's put it and then as you can see this circle with diameter 8 millimeters the bigger one is like diameters like 20 millimeters let's put it so in this case if we want to build another circle mm, far from this center 10 millimeters 10 millimeters now we will use temporal track point again I will go right I will put 10 millimeters enter now I can build this one 10 millimeters the radius so I can sorry yeah, yeah it's true it's true here I will draw another one 4 millimeters radius done so we need to put these six the smallest circles so first of all we need to put a central mark to our circles done so we will build one so small circle from here and then we will use the array tool to copy to six to put six copies to here so as you mentioned the size of the smallest circles uh, uh, here like six holes the diameter is three millimeters mm. but we need to uh, choose uh, distance between this center and this center so what will we do I think it's already given in here this side let's check check from here this one is 10 this one is 20 where is the distance of these small circles So what will we do now is like we know the mm, the size of smallest circle is like three millimeters diameter. So so let's imagine that the center of this uh, smallest uh, circle is located in center of these two circles. What do you think? In these two line lines, between two lines. So as you know, um, the smaller one is like eight millimeters. The bigger one is uh, twenty millimeters diameter. So if we use radius, this distance between here to here like four millimeters distance from center to here 10 millimeters if we uh, uh, take uh, 4 millimeters from 10 we can choose that distance for here is like 6 millimeters so let's put uh, center of this side so I will build circle uh, three millimeters horizontal far from this uh, point let's use temporal track point from here I will go left three millimeters done oh sorry I put in a wrong stuff temporal track point from here I will go right done as you can see I already find 
the center of this point, this circle. So, as you know, the di diameter is 3 millimeters. So, let's put D, enter, and then we need to put 3 millimeters, enter. Done. As you can see, we put all. So, now we can draw another circle from here. The radio, which is radius is seven. Let's put the center mark first, and then we will give it our done. Let's delete this uh, this center mark. It seems a little little bit extra, so I will choose this circle. It's not like main circle, so main line, we need to change type of line, center, done. Now what will we do is, we need to copy, we need to put another five copies of this circle. I will choose this one, and then I will use array tool, the polar array, a special, I will choose this tool. And then it asks me the center of copy midpoint I will choose this one so it asks me how many we need to put six so I need to put enter done so as you can see this side is finished so we need to uh, draw these special figures from here so so my strategy is as you can see I will want to build another circle from here and this circle again and then I will build these lines and then I will trim extra lines and then I will use fillet option and then I will make these figures so I will do in practice I think you will understand first of all uh, as you can see here is the radius is 20 this uh, curvy line is like <coughs> 20 millimeters this one and this one so we can uh, build a circle with radius 20 millimeters let's put circle from here 20 millimeters done and then as you can see this radius is 15 millimeters so we need to build another circle but the center will be the center of this small mm, circle so I will use this one so radius will be 15 done We passed halfway, so we need to put here two uh, lines, horizontal lines, and then we need to use uh, trim tool and fill the tool to finish our job. So, as you can see, this distance is 10 millimeters. So we need to go to up five millimeters and down five millimeters. So what I will do is, I will put one line to here until here like 20 millimeters now let's put let's build the line from the center of this circle until here 25 millimeters done so we need to choose our line and then I will use this option offset option done I need to choose two points and then I will go up as you know 5 millimeters up and then I can just mirror it choosing two points again done so sorry mirror it two points enter done. so here we know we have extra lines we need to delete it done and then I will use trim tool to delete extra lines like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. It's a little bit complicated, but we can do it, I think. Here also, we need to delete these lines. This one, and this one. Done. So now, I will use Trim tool, and then we will go to our sample, and I will, <coughs> I want to know the radius of our, uh, these fillet, fillets. So as you know, there is like four radiuses, four fillets with radius two millimeters. I see one, two, three, one, two, three, four. This one, this one, this one, this one. And all of them is like two millimeters. I think there is no another fillet size. So let's use like two millimeters. It will be easy. So we will use fillet tool. Radius, we need to choose radius. Radius is two millimeters. So we will just choose these lines. Done. Again. As you can see, we finished. Let's trim this line. So again, we, we don't need these lines, of course. So we, we will use fillet again. Already we put radius 2 millimeters just we need to put this we need to choose this line again done here we have like extra lines as you know we need to trim them done this one this one done and in this oh sorry let's trim this lines also and then using fillet tool we need to complete this side also fillet tool let's compare the original file and this one none I think it's the same so as you can see we finished uh, drawing main part of our detail but here it's a little bit complicated to see to read our drawing so I will recommend to select all these central marks and then this one the smaller ones also and then change the color of these central marks to yellow for example I will choose yellow you can choose another uh, color I will choose yellow now as you can see it's now it's easy to distinguish between like main lines and then uh, annotations like central marks as you finish so oh sorry now we need to rotate this central mark and then connect the, the center lines from this part okay let's rotate it we will use rotate tool the center of rotation, center of this line, then rotation angle. Rotation angle will be uh, 51 millimeter, 51 inch, done. 51 degrees. Now we can choose this one and extend this line until this place. As you can see now, there is no difference between this and this. So now you can decorate our drawing with dimensions. Uh, now I want to mention how to put dimension to uh, and this like angles. So we will put angular size, and we need to choose this one this one as you can see it's done just you need to put this size this dimension to here and if you want to put some text before dimension what you need to do is first of all we will use the diameter to this smaller one like this but as you can see, here is some text 
before the soil dimension and after the dimension what will we do is we mean we need to click two times to dimension so now we need to um, type necessary text six holes before and then after the dimension on pcd 14 and we need to press enter authentic shift enter done as you can see the type design of dimension is quite different but if you want to change it we need to go to annotate uh, dimensions so here modify you need to choose modify it and then arrows hmm. if you choose like horizontal or ISO standard a lot of people use like ISO standard to put to decorate the drawing so if you put like this drawing as you can see it's a little bit same so I think you know how to put another dimensions to all places so thank you for attention good luck